Hello, everybody, and welcome to Exploring Fort Saskatchewan with your hosts, Mayor Gail Catcher and Curtis Dominic. All right. Good morning, everybody. I'm going to start this video cast off today for Exploring Fort Saskatchewan and very pleased to be joined by our host, Curtis Dominic. How are you today, Curtis? I'm doing very, very well. It's springtime in Fort Saskatchewan. Isn't there a song about that? Springtime in Fort Saskatchewan. <laughs> well, if there isn't, there will be. <laughs> there <now>. will be. <laughs> uh, you know what? I have to kind of give a, a quick nod to our police force here. We, we had a little bit of an incident. I had to call 911. Something was was happening, and uh, we didn't know if, if there was a real problem or not. And as a citizen of Fort Saskatchewan, I think it's our duty that if we see something... Uh, out of the ordinary, just to kind of do it, because you don't know what it could be. And I'm not going to say what it was, but it was something relatively serious that I thought. I called. They immediately went there to find out that this wasn't as bad as what it was, but that they kind of cleaned up the situation. But then they called me back to tell me, you know, thank you, sir. Uh, we went, we checked it out. It was just this, uh, nothing to be alarmed about. Everything's okay. But it could have been a situation where people could have gone missing or there could have been an alert or something like that. Wow. And it was just that instantaneous response that, that you know, we're in, a, we're in a great city where if you call our police forces, our ambulances, our fire, they're there. And, you know, we talk about, oh, taxes and all that. This is what pays for all that. And this is what has, uh, like, why Fort Saskatchewan is becoming a place in Alberta that you want to come move to because not only is it business friendly, but it's family friendly. And we have everything to support families and to help your family grow, including a very safe neighborhood. And, and that, uh, you know, as as a mayor, I want to tell you that that to me was incredible just on how fast, but the fact that they called me back to thank me and then tell me what happened. Wow. You know, yeah. that that's a real endorsement. And, you know, Curtis, so often everybody's so quick to criticize, you know, police and first responders. But at the end of the day, you know, it's really, uh, really reinforcing to hear when somebody actually reaches out and says, wow, job well done. So to our RCMP department, kudos to you. Uh, I'm not sure what the situation was, but it sounds like uh, it was all handled. Okay. It was all handled, you know, and my dad kind of made a point to me and he told me, because you know, when you're young, you have that, I guess everybody's got that. Uh, everybody hates the police. Everybody hates that. They hate them until the moment they need them. And then it's, oh my God, you know what? Have a respect. They're doing their job. So if you break the law, you do something, they're doing their job. So it's like any other job in our country. They're just doing their job. And if you're having a rough day, talk to like they're human beings. Talk yeah. to them. That's all it is. Don't be a smart ass. Sorry, I don't didn't mean to swear. Just you know, <laughs> exploring for Saskatchewan on the R-rated version. Anyway, and, and and you know it's true. I have to admit, my daughter got a uh, failing to stop at a stop sign. She she phones me and she says, "Mom." Mom, I got a ticket. And I was like, well, did you fail to stop? Well, I'm not sure. She said, and maybe it was a bit of a rolling one. You know what? I said, then just accept responsibility for your actions. Just go pay your ticket because, I mean, they're not going to ticket you if you haven't. So, you know what? That kind of digresses. But I'm glad the situation yes. was uh, yeah. was handled well. I'm glad nothing happened. And it's always nice to know that uh, our, our RCMP, our fire department, our emergency service, are there to serve and protect. Great job. Absolutely. You yeah. want to give them a high five for that one too? You betcha. High five for that one. There yes. <laughs> so, you know, uh, not sure. Have you seen anything green pop up on your door in the last few weeks? Last uh, couple of weeks. Yeah. Anything uh, that's maybe this <laughs> I was, color I was green? When pull it up. <laughs> yeah, the census. So I got to ask you, what exactly is the census? Because I've been seeing this now for a few years. Right. So many, many years ago, the federal government used to do the census. And they do it about every three or four years. And what it would do, it would provide information back to the municipality. But what was ending up happening is their information was old and outdated. 
So you have to remember, municipalities get their funding from the provincial and federal government based on our population. So a few years ago, council decided, you know what, each year we're going to do our own census so that we can make sure we have up-to-date information. So we say, please count yourself in. When that uh, lime green sheet shows up on your door, if you've got a computer, take a minute to go in, put the PIN number in, provide your information. Because what it does is we get additional funding, which provides programs, and services and it gives us an idea of how many people so how many people are in our community what your ages are if you live in a single family dwelling or a multi-family dwelling it gives us just uh, some basic basic information it'll ask you about your schooling but it doesn't ask about how much money you make or anything like that so you know it's some quick facts for us but it's really really important because as I've said before The advantage of completing it each year means that if we had an extra 1,000 people last year, we might have got an extra $300,000 plus from these government grants. Now, what can we do with that money? It's simple. You know, we have new services that people want. Uh, Sometimes they want a change in service. That's what this kind of funding goes towards. But knowing if our demographics is changing also helps us to understand uh, what programs and services we need. So we understand in talking to our school divisions, wow, we're having lots of babies born here. Uh, I was talking to Elk Island uh, Public School, and she said, yes, the new school is going to open uh, this fall, the the uh, kindergarten to grade nine. I usually refer it as K to nine, but people get K-9. confused. Yes. <laughs> so with the new school opening, and she says they believe within three to five years, the way the the demographics is changing in Fort Saskatchewan, we will yet need another school. If you can believe that. Wow. So that's what this kind of information provides us. So I understand. You just said you receive this at your door. So tell me about your experience. Hey everybody, just taking a quick moment out to stop the podcast just to thank the people that helped bring this Exploring Fort Saskatchewan to you. First off, we've got Joel at the Canadian Brew House. This place is amazing. You can go down there just to get a ride to go to the Edmonton Oilers games, to have a quick bite to eat, to enjoy the brews, to enjoy the ambiance. It's a great place to take the family or just Kick your shoes off at the end of a long day of work. Second, uh, I don't look this good just getting out of the bed. Okay, confession, yes I do. But in part, it's to Frankie at Frankie's Barbershop. Uh, He's amazing. You go in there and he'll give you whatever you want in the way of the newest hairstyles, beards, anything. He takes such great care care of you. Uh, It's like you're a member of the family when you walk in. Shakes your hand right away, sit down, treats you so well. Go there, Frankie's Barbershop. I know everybody likes gaming, board gamings. I certainly do. The best place to go to in all of the Edmonton area, and especially here in Fort Saskatchewan, Fort Gaming and Collectibles. Go there, tell them that I sent you. Go see Shane. Shane's the guy you want to go see. He's got all the newest board games. He's got all the newest magic, which I understand is this new crazy game that's taken over by storm. I have no clue. Go in there though, tell them I send you the board games are great. Lastly, but certainly not least, is a good friend of mine. You're going to see some podcasts coming up with him. He's the Zombie Master of Canada. I'm going to put a picture up probably right here. His work is incredible. Rob Cicchetto Zombie Portraits. He'll take any picture, including wedding photos, which are incredible, and zombify them. And I guess last but not least, I've already said last but not least, us, Dominic Digital, we are a digital media and advertising marketing company here in the fort. We do all sorts of things like social media, we'll set up a website for you. Secondly, we're actually going to market it for you and make sure that people show up. This is what we're doing. Look, look at this, it's a great podcast. Check out more podcasts on the Dominic Digital um, family, I guess umbrella, family of podcasts. and. Uh, I guess I'm done. I'm going to send you back to the podcast now with myself and the mayor. 
Um, well, I, I have to say that Catherine and I filled it out. She kind of filled it up. She asked me a couple things, but it took, I'm thinking, two minutes. Uh, they basically asked, is this the correct address? How many people live there? Um, a couple other questions in regards to education, um, the gender of the person there. And uh, that was it. Within two seconds, it was there. Uh, it said how much we made. And then our rebate check of that, which was incredible. I'm completely kidding. As there's she's no looking at me, there's, there's no rebate check. People are going to be like, well, I didn't get a rebate check. We're just kidding. Uh, it, it actually tells you how much money that you've gained for the city, which I found it. That, that's kind of a nice little bonus to go, oh, my God, we made this money for the city. That's great. Well, and when you say we made this money for the city, it's not about making it well, for the city. It's making it for the people who live in this yes. city. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. So uh, the question, I, I have been asked some questions. So it's been, how do I respond online? Okay. And so you just go on to the city's website. Uh, the little information uh, brochure will walk you on to the city's website, and it has a little census box. You click on there, and it says, start taking the survey. So if you've got a computer, uh, do it online, give it a try. Um, but if you don't, respond online, then we have the enumerators who are going out there and they will do follow-up. And they will keep following up until they get uh, the information that's required. If you still fail, our wonderful uh, person who, who is in charge of this will then start phoning your home to ask for more information. They do such a thorough job on this. And, you know, I really thank our city staff because, as job. I've said before, it's really about making sure that we get the money that, that we should get from the provincial and federal government and that we can turn around and apply these to programs and services that people are asking for. That's it. it it's just making sure sure that we get that correct slice of the pie because yeah. there could be money left on the table if not everybody fills it out and then we're it's not that we're losing money it's just that we're not getting the money that we're entitled to right and if we wait for the federal government census by the time we get it we would have already grown another two three four right. percent so that's why it's so uh so critical so the census runs from april 3rd and it runs all the way till June 1st. So we're trying to get in as much as we can. We know we're coming up onto the Easter weekend. But like I said, when you see this on your door, it'll actually be in a little envelope. It won't be this one specifically, but it'll be this color lime green. Go in, get it done right away. Make you, a difference. How do you miss this? Like, come on, that, that's as bright. Yeah. yeah. And so count yourself in to the census 2000. 2017 in Fort Saskatchewan. Be the difference, make the difference. That's it. So I guess on ending, it's Easter weekend coming. It is. Any plans for Easter weekend? Easter weekend, we'll be spending some time with family and uh, with well, spending time with family and hopefully with friends. Uh, we went out, we bought our hams, so uh, I'm cooking Easter Easter dinner. Nice. So, uh, you know, um, that's what it's really about. Uh, it's, it's about going to church. Yep. It's about spending time with family and friends. It's about really reflecting on what Easter is all about. So it's not just about the Easter bunny. No. It's, uh, you know, it's about going to church and, and, and you know, it, it is. It, we, I'm sure that we have a, a multi, uh, you know, denominational people that watch us, and uh, Easter means something different for everybody. Yes. And we, you know what? That's what we're saying. Celebrate Easter the way that you celebrate it, but uh, be with your family. The, the, the Easter is a time to be with the family, and uh, you know, I wish we could be with ours, but I know we're going to try and Skype with our parents. And, oh, uh, nice. Yeah, I, yeah. you know, it, it, it's it's good. It's just I know I'm going to be missing my mom's ham. Like as soon as you mentioned ham, it's like ah damn it like <laughs> that's what I like but we'll probably be with some uh, with some friends as well and uh, yeah uh, Easter's the it, it's a great time of year plus now our city is starting to to change and everything's coming back to life and yes. just looking out here this is this is in the, over the next month I I'm gonna want to take some photos. Maybe we'll show the changes of now that spring's coming because it's absolutely gorgeous. That's excellent. So for everybody who is joining us in Fort Saskatchewan for the Easter long weekend, take time out of your busy schedule. Take your family, your friends, go out 
and explore the city of Fort Saskatchewan. Exploring Fort Saskatchewan is a product of Dominic Digital.